Here I will introduce point group, a new bottom-up method for 3D instant cementation. 3D instant cementation is a task to assign an instance ID to each point of the input point cloud and specify the semantic label of each instance. Unlike 2D images, there is no view occlusion problem in 3D. 3D objects are usually complete as a whole and separated by void space, so in our method, we make use of these properties to separate 3D points into instances. We first use a backbone network to extract per point features of the input point cloud. We construct a UNet with sparse convolution to extract contextual and geometric information for each point. The discriminative point-wise features are then fed into two branches, a semantic branch for predicting a semantic label for each point, and an offset branch for predicting a per-point offset vector to shift each point towards the centroid of its respective instance. We constrain the semantic branch by the cross-entropy loss. And for the offset loss, we observe that the distances from points to their instance centroids concentrates on small values, so it is hard for the network to regress the offset of boundary points of large objects. Thus, besides the conventional L1 regression loss, we also apply a direction loss, which regularizes the direction of the predicted offset. Direction loss makes sure that the offsets move points towards their instant centroids. After getting the semantic label, we could start to cluster. We use breadth-first search to group nearby points with the same semantic labels into one cluster. Two points with a distance less than a proper set radius R are defined as nearby points of each other. This clustering algorithm relies on the semantic label and void space between 3D objects. So it may fail when two intercategory objects lie near each other. For example, in this scene, when clustering based on the original coordinates P, some pictures hang on the wall are wrongly grouped into a single cluster. However, remember that we have predicted an offset to instant center for each point. Thus, we could add the offsets to the original coordinates P to get the shifted coordinates Q. Nearby objects with the shifted coordinates will have larger void space between them. And clustering based on the shifted coordinates Q could to an extent resolve the problem happened on original coordinates. However, clustering on Q also has its limitation. In this thing, the inaccuracy of offset prediction for the boundary points of the large curtain causes the clustering errors. Thus, we employ dual point coordinate sets in clustering to combine their strengths. But there are duplicates in the union of the two cluster sets and to select better clusters as a final instance prediction, we propose a score net. The score net takes the candidate cluster set C as input and gives a score for each cluster. The scores indicate the quality of the clusters. And to reflect the cluster quality in the scores, we use a soft label to supervise the predicted cluster scores. We then use the binary cross-entropy loss as our score loss. After getting the cluster scores, we could feed the candidates into an NMS process to get the final instance predictions G. This is the whole framework of our point group. Here is the visualization comparison between clustering on P, on Q, and on dual sets. Clustering on both P and Q makes use of the complementary properties of the two sets and thus performs best. The quantitative results also show the effectiveness of clustering on dual sets. Here we also show some comparison with previous methods. Our method achieves better performance. Here is a visualization of the results of our point group on ScanNet and the SVDIS. Our code has been released on GitHub. Thanks for your listening.